What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and so far we are two for two this week. I'm really trying to pump out five videos this week and in this video we do have quite a bit to talk about. Now before I give you the breakdown like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up it truly helps and if you're not subscribed yet make sure to hit the red button below to be automatically updated. Now, as for some of the highlights, we have information on another Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG releasing in 2020, new photos of the Shattered Backboard 3.0, a detailed look at a special Air Jordan 6 made for Kanye's mom, Donda West. There's a lot more from Jordan brand, a good amount from Nike and Adidas. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Over the weekend, Adidas officially unveiled James Harden's next signature shoe, the Adidas Harden Volume 4. In the previous video when I showcased the shoe, one thing that we noticed was that it lacked boost. The Harden Volume 4 will actually feature light strike tooling. This was first introduced on the next level. Light strike ensures full movement support and improved step in comfort without any extra weight designed with Harden's elite quickness and the demands of the game in mind. The process to create the volume four was a true collaboration with the Adidas design team that showed me to voice my creativity and to blend different ideas into one shoe that would showcase both my style of play on the court and my sense of style walking out of the tunnel, says Harden. Daniel Patrick has been setting trends with his use of bold looks and bright colors. So partnering with Daniel was the perfect way to highlight the design of the volume four and bring sport, fashion, and culture together. Now, during this unveiling, they showcased a lot of colorways so not all of them I'll be able to fit into this video so what I'm going to do is talk about some of the main ones the ones we have release dates for and then there'll be a link in the description below if you want to check out the rest of them and that link will take you to sneakerfiles.com now the barbershop colorway will drop on October 12th following is the release of the pink lemonade pair and that will release on October 26th on October 31st is the release of the candy paint iteration, while the cookies and cream pair will drop on November 15th. Retail price is set at 130 each. A few weeks back, maybe less than that, I did a video that showcased upcoming Adidas Yeezy releases for the month of September. At the time, we only had a Photoshop rendering of what was to come on the Adidas Yeezy Power Phase. Now there's a total of three colorways releasing, which includes Simple Brown, Clear Brown, and Quiet Gray. Each pair comes constructed with premium suede. Instead of using leather, the three stripes branding on the panels is perforated, while Calabasas branding is seen on the lateral side. As of now, all three will release at select retailers on September 18th. Now I know it's only a day away until then, and the retail price is set at 120 each. Speaking of press releases from Adidas, yesterday they sent out one for the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citroen. Now we've gone over the shoes quite a few times and I'm sure everybody knows how this pair looks, but there's been a bit of a release date change. The non-reflective pair is set to release on September 23rd, while the reflective pair will drop on September 24th. Retail price for adult sizes is 220, kids will cost 160, while infant sizes will retail at 140. On to Nike, and very soon, Sue Bird will have her very own Nike Kyrie 5 release at retailers, and this pair is known as Keep Sue Fresh. Now, the nickname for the shoe comes from Irving, who told Nike to always keep Bird fresh with pairs from his signature shoe line. Now, looking closer, this pair features a white base, and then we have graffiti-like text throughout, which is done in various colors. Both red and green is seen on the tongue branding, while light blue in multicolor covers the outsole. Other details includes white on the midsole and the hashtag keep Sue fresh on the heels. Now, one thing that is somewhat of a letback for some is that it's a grade school exclusive. 
Currently, a release date is unknown for this pair. They are expected to drop soon. I'm sure Nike will announce a release date and when that happens, that will go into the following video. And the retail price is set at 110. I remember there was a time that Nike would release a ton of different colorways of the Nike Air Flight 89. This is a shoe that pretty much stays in Nike's rotation. Sometimes they take a few years off of releasing the shoe. And now we have the OG University Red that is starting to release. This pair was worn by various NBA players, one of them being Scottie Pippen. And one of the highlights of the shoe is that it features the Air Jordan 4 tooling. Now, I do remember there was a lot of people that would do midsole swaps and they would buy this shoe because it was a lot cheaper than an Air Jordan 4. Now, going over it, we have white leather running throughout. Following is University Red outlines, as well as landing on the swoosh, flight branding, liner, part of the midsole, and outsole. Other highlights includes gray and black accents and a visible air unit. Now, the last time I checked, this pair wasn't available on Nike.com. However, Oneness.com did have some sizes available. So if you're interested, go check them out. And the retail price is set at 120. In the last video, I went over several Nike LeBron 17 colorways. And in this video, we have two more to highlight. Now this pair is simple compared to the others and it comes dressed in black and white. This pair does pay tribute to past releases, which includes the lion head logo from the LeBron 8, six written in its traditional signature, Dunkman and L23 logo. All that lands on the right tongue and then on the left tongue, we have I'm King, which is taken from the LeBron 16, ACG Pyramid, and LJ Crown. Now, for the Nike LeBron 17 in black and white, there's been a few release date changes, but as of now, it appears that this pair will release on October 3rd. Currently, a retail price is unknown. The next Nike LeBron 17 to showcase is known as Future Air utilizing gray across the upper while iridescent lands on the tongue overlay. Following, we have orange placed within the air unit and taking us back, we have a hang tag that reads, remove before launch. I'm sure a lot of you remember back in 2012, I believe, Nike launched, I think the collection was called Area 51 and some of those models featured a remove before launch hang tag. At the time of shooting this video, there isn't a release date available for this pair. They are expected to drop this fall and there isn't a retail price. Now Nike will officially unveil the LeBron 17. If a release is going to take place on October 3rd, then the grand unveiling should be next week. Official images of four colorways of Undefeated's Nike Air Max 90 collection has leaked. Those four colorways includes white and solar red, black and solar red, white and blue fury, and black and blue fury. Now we've gone over the shoes a few times, so I won't go in depth on each. However, what I will mention is that they'll feature undefeated branding on the heel, insoles, and lace jewel. Early on, a release date was announced for September 20th. This would be at undefeated locations and online. Now, I went to Undefeated's website and I didn't see anything on a September 20th date. I looked at their Twitter, didn't see anything, and Instagram. Yes, there's still time for them to make an announcement, but the last time they talked about this collection was on September 3rd, and all they said was that they're coming soon. Now, it's possible they make an announcement later today or even tomorrow, and also it does look like they're going to be available on Nike.com. Now going over the retail prices, adult sizes will cost 150, preschool will cost 90, and taller sizes will retail at 75. Back in 2018, Nike released the Skeleton Air Force One Low. That pair did have some hype behind it, and now it looks like they're going to drop another pair during October. Now shown is a Photoshop, but we do know a release is coming. However, it's possible it'll look different. And according to Pirates, this pair will feature a triple black theme. In addition, on the overlays is an X-ray style skeleton. Also, it hasn't been confirmed if this pair will have glow in the dark detailing on the outsole. 
As some of you may know, the 2018 release, which released in white, featured a unique graphic on the insoles and a glow-in-the-dark outsole. So as for the information we do know is that this pair will release a little bit early compared to the white pair, which will be on October 25th. Retail price is set at 130. On to Jordan brand, technically this isn't a Jordan. This is actually the Nike Vapor Untouchable Pro 3 OBJ of Tempo cleat, which is for Odell Beckham Jr. Now, two weeks ago, Nike reached out to me and they wanted to know if I would like images of upcoming OBJ's player exclusives. Of course, I said yes. And on Monday night, he actually wore two inspired by Air Jordans. So that is the reason why I placed it in the Air Jordan section. I actually think both are really cool. Unfortunately, they aren't releasing. They're an exclusive to Beckham. And during the pregame, he laced up the friends and family inspired Fresh Prince Air Jordan 5. During the game, he wore a pair that is inspired by the shattered backboard Air Jordan 1. Now each week, Nike is going to send over a press release. So I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts on this. Should I continue to showcase them in the upcoming videos or just leave it on sneakerfiles.com? Quick heads up for everybody. I'm sure you guys already know, but this week the Air Jordan 12 game royal will release now over the weekend official images did leak of the shoe technically it didn't leak nike sneakers published them but with these official images i'm definitely liking the shoe now just as a reminder this pair drops on september 21st retail price will be 190 now i don't think this pair will sell out first day over time it definitely will however there probably will be some sizes that will go on sell but let me know in the comment section if you plan on picking this pair up on September 21st. We have three upcoming Air Jordan 34 colorways to talk about. And first up is known as Eclipse. Now it comes dressed in a simple black and white color combination, utilizing black across the upper, white lands on the tongue branding, hill, most of the midsole and outsole. Other highlights on this pair is the Eclipse plate, which is placed in the midsole along with Hill Zoom units. The Air Jordan 34 Eclipse will release on November 7th and retail price is set at 180. Next up is the Amber Rise Edition. And this might be somewhat of a stretch, but it kind of has a shattered backboard theme. The orange isn't quite on point but I have a feeling that is kind of where Jordan brand was heading. Now this pair features an amber rise, black cell and metallic silver color combination. Instead of featuring a translucent upper, this pair features TPE layers on the lateral side and toe. Now orange and black cover most of the upper. We also have a herringbone traction, cell on the midsole and of course the Eclipse plate. The Air Jordan 34 Amber Rise will release on November 29th and retail price will be 180. The last Air Jordan 34 to talk about in this video is known as Snow Leopard. Now this pair comes dressed in white, jade and metallic silver. Featuring white across the upper, jade green accents are seen throughout. Following is black speckled detailing on the laces, silver lands on the Jumpman on the hill. Now speaking of the hill, if you look closely, it actually features animal print. This pair will release on November 14th and retail price will be 180. Roughly 11 years ago, Jordan brand created a sample for Kanye West of the Air Jordan 6, which is a tribute to his mother, Donda West. Now, over the years, we've seen a few images pop up here and there, but yesterday, Instagram user Nike Air Jordan 6 gave us our best look yet. Very detailed photos and shout out to him, but one thing I do want to mention is that he used so many watermarks, it takes away from the photo. Now, I totally get about watermarking your images because a lot of people do just take them, but I don't think you need this many. Now, going over this pair, it comes dressed in white and red. And if you look closely on the overlays, you're going to notice rose detailing. We also have a rose on the toe box, heel, and toe overlay. While on the insoles, it reads Donda West 
and I can't really make out the other small print, but if you can, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. At the time when Kanye West was presented the shoe, the Air Jordan 6 was his favorite model. Now, apparently, this pair is limited to four pairs, so Jordan Brand created four pairs of the shoe. I'm not sure if Kanye owns any of those pairs anymore, but I do know that Don C has one, or at least he had one, because in 2016, we saw a preview from Don C. Overall, I do like the shoe for the amount of detail and what it represents. I know this may sound weird to some, but here we have beauty shots of the upcoming Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Shattered Backboard 3.0. Now, when images first leaked of the shoe, I absolutely hated it. And now I'm seeing that select Jordan brand team members or people very, very close to the brand are starting to receive care packages. One of the models is the Air Jordan 10 Seattle, and the other I saw was the Shattered Backboard 3.0. Now, I will say this, they definitely look a lot better than the early images. Maybe it's because those shoes were stolen out of the factory. I don't really know the deal on that. Also, it's been a while since I showcased this shoe, so I wanted to throw it in this video as well. Get your guys' opinion if it's changed. I mean, I know a lot of people dislike the shoe, or they at least did initially, but I can guarantee that when the shoe releases, it will sell out. Now, as for a release date, October 26th is the date just before Halloween, and the retail price will be $160. Last up for news for today, we have an upcoming Air Jordan 1 releasing during 2020. Now, I know you've heard me say that before many times, and more than likely, you're going to hear me say that even more and more throughout the weeks because in 2020, there's going to be a lot of Air Jordan 1s releasing. Now, this info comes from Soul Heat on Feet, and the Photoshop mock-up is by Z Sneakerhead Z, so big thanks to those two. And this pair will feature a white particle gray varsity red and black color combination. Now, like I mentioned, this is a Photoshop, so we don't know how the actual release will look. However, I do have a feeling that this pair will look somewhat similar to the Photoshop. There'll probably be some elements changed. The particle gray more than likely will take over most of the shoe. White will land on the base but I feel that Varsity Red will be used a bit more throughout than shown. Now, as far as a specific date, we don't have one. However, this pair is expected to drop during September 2020, so a year away, which is kind of crazy. Retail price will be 160 for now, as some of you guys know. In the last video, there is a rumor that a price increase on the Air Jordan 1 will take place in 2020. Instead of costing 160, the rumor is they'll retail at 170. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. Like always, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to those that watched this video. Also, a quick update on the photoshops of the upcoming releases. I heard back and I was told that I would receive them Monday night. I'm actually shooting at 1 a.m. I have yet to receive them, but more than likely, I'll get them around 4 or 5 in the morning. So I should have those and then feature them through the week. Now, before I get out of here, if you haven't done so already, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit the red button below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.